Hey everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can update the firmware on your passport. Updating the firmware on your passport is a really important step so that you can benefit from the new features added and also stay up to date with the latest security patches. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step once you're made aware that there is a firmware update for your passport is to download that software onto your computer. There are two main ways you can do this, either from our support documentation page that's at support.foundationdevices.com or via our GitHub page. That's github.com slash foundation hyphen devices. Please ensure you do not download any firmware updates for your passport from anywhere other than these two locations. Once you've downloaded the firmware onto your computer, this will be notified as a .bin file. Simply insert your micro SD card into your computer and copy the file across to the SD card. Once you've done that, you can insert the SD card into your passport and take the following steps. Verifying the integrity of this download file is an optional but recommended step. Advanced users will be familiar with how to do this using the command line tool. However, Passport offers a really neat option so that you can check this on the device. Okay, so with the firmware loaded onto the micro SD card, the SD card inserted into Passport, you're going to head to Settings, Advanced, Micro SD Settings. Then you're going to opt for List Files and then press Continue. There you'll see a list of all of the files contained on your Passport micro SD card. The one we're looking for is the .bin file that we just downloaded from your computer. Pressing select on the file will instruct Passport to run a SHA-256 hash over the file contents. The resulting hash is absolutely unique to all of the pieces of information contained within the file. Any minute change to the content of the file will result in a completely different hash output. So as you can see here, we have an exact match for the hash output on Passport and also the published SHA-256 hash from the foundation devices GitHub. So what this check establishes is that there has been absolutely no changes to the contents of the file from when it was uploaded to GitHub by the developer team to the point at which it's on your SD card, which is inserted into Passport. And we are good to go to upgrade the firmware. Okay, so we've downloaded the firmware and we have verified the integrity of the file. It's time to install it onto Passport. So we're going to head down to settings and firmware. Here you can view the current version of the firmware that's installed onto Passport. But in this instance, we're going to go to update firmware. Next, we're going to choose that .bin file that we recently downloaded onto the micro SD card. Then Passport is going to give you a couple of warnings just to ensure that you have carried out your backup procedure and that you have good battery life on the batteries inserted into Passport. Once you've read those messages, click OK and Passport will begin the firmware update. Once complete, Passport will reboot and you should see the new firmware version on screen. 